Art on Demand is a production of the Cultural Arts Alliance of Walton County, brought to you with support from Alice Beach, 30A.com, and Florida Department of State, Division of Cultural Affairs. While these events are provided at no cost to you, we do ask that you donate what you can by visiting our website, culturalartsalliance.com, in order to help the CAA continue to foster creativity, employ artists, and bring you entertainment, education, and engagement through Art on Demand. We hope you love this virtual event. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Art on Demand. My name is Jason Limblad, and I'm a local artist and the owner of J. Leon Gallery and Studio in Miramar Beach. I'm so excited to give you a tour of our beautiful space. First, I'd love to tell you a little about myself. I've been a student of art since I was five years old and have worked with many different mediums. I was born and raised in Paducah, Kentucky, attended the School of the Art Institute of Chicago where I focused on graphic design and fiber and material studies, and later on I continued my studies in illustration at the Savannah College of Art and Design in Atlanta where I developed and deepened my love for drawing and painting. I use a process that combines both pen and ink plus digital illustration to make unique and stylized works of art. Inspired by artists such as Vincent Van Gogh, Yoshitaka Amano, and Erte, I work to create intricate images that engage the viewer into style and detail. My love for vintage fashion, art deco, and theater inspire my original works. I'd like to tell you a little about J. Leon Gallery and Studio. J. Leon Gallery and Studio is the area's newest fine art destination. Born with a vision to make high-end art attainable for everyone, J. Leon supports and promotes its artists while presenting guests with unique ways to engage with and uncover their next favorite work of art. More than a gallery, J. Leon is home to a working ceramic studio and offers a robust calendar of events and classes. One of my favorite events is our monthly Sip and Strolls. This event is free to the public and takes place the first Friday of each month. Guests can enjoy live paintings by featured artists, drinks, and light snacks, all while exhibiting the gallery. In addition to an art gallery, we're also a fully functioning ceramic studio. The studio offers beginner wheel throwing and hand building classes as well as open studio membership for experienced artists. Small class sizes provide students the opportunity for a personalized learning experience. Community space is for educational and recreational use, allowing students to explore the properties of clay in a positive environment. Please come visit us and experience our studio with our wonderful instructor, Megan Patterson. Uh, I got introduced to the Cultural Arts Alliance of Walton County and uh, started working with the Foster Gallery located in Grand Boulevard uh, in Sandestin and started exhibiting my work there and uh, at the time I had recently been in a spot as an artist where I was working so much in my career that my art was plan B and work was plan A and it needed to switch. So Foster Gallery and moving down here really gave me the opportunity to make art plan A and work plan B. Currently, we have 13 exhibiting artists. Of the 13 artists exhibiting in our gallery, 12 are from the local area and one is from Lexington, Kentucky. Our featured art rotates every three to four months with new shows every season. Artists interested in showing their work at J. Leon Gallery and Studio may submit their information on the website at jleongallery.com slash submit your work on our artist drop down 
under our artist page. I'm here with Joan Vino's work. She's one of our featured oil painters. And one of the interesting things about Joan is that she's also a plain air painter. Jenna Varney is one of our featured artists. She's a photorealist acrylic painter. She uh, won South Walton's Artist of the Year in 2018 and 2019. I'm here with Estelle Grang's artwork. She's new to the art scene this year with us and was chosen as Maddie Kelly Arts Foundation's Festival of the Arts poster winner this year. She's an acrylic artist with bright colorful artwork as well as thick paint that creates a unique texture to her work. This is Marion Paxudo's work. She is an oil painter, and her work can be described as loose and painterly. I'm here with Andrea Chipser's work. She's a mixed media resin artist that uses acrylic pores to create her unique pieces of work inspired by nature. Mary Redman is a mixed media artist that is inspired by geometric forms and nature. Fun fact about Mary is that she's originally from Sweden. I'm here with Melanie Moore, who's a watercolorist. Melanie is not only an artist, but also the education director for Maddie Kelly Arts Foundation here in the area. I'm here with Serene Gualteri's work, who's a mixed media illustrator that does her work on reclaimed wood to signify the women that she's helped in her charity work in human trafficking. This is Kathy Schumacher's work. She is an oil painter that exclusively uses a palette knife to create her unique texture within her work. And here we are with my work. Uh, I'm an illustrator that primarily works in black and white pen and ink uh, with gold and silver illustrations. Lennon Mikowski is one of our artists from outside the region. He's from Lexington, Kentucky. He is a mixed media artist and painter who is also an author. He wrote the book, How Penguins Save Television. We've done just a quick tour of the gallery today, but you can view all of our artwork online at www.jaleongallery.com. Thank you for stopping by the Jaleon Gallery and Studio. And a big thank you to the CAA for this opportunity to share our space. If you like this content and want to see more, visit culturalartsalliance.com and click donate. $5, $10, $50, it all helps. Thank you for experiencing this episode of Art on Demand presented by the Cultural Arts Alliance of Walton County with support from alicebeach30a.com and Florida Department of State Division of Cultural Affairs. We hope you explored your creativity and learned something new today. As the creative core of Walton County, the Cultural Arts Alliance of Walton County offers support, connection, and access opportunities for all forms of art, every variety of maker, all levels of learners, and especially art lovers. Through performance, funding, and educational programs, the 501c3 organization directly connects the people of Walton County with the broader view, the critical exploration, and the answers only the arts have the power to provide. 
If you loved this episode, please visit culturalartsalliance.com and click the donate button to give what you can to help the CAA continue to bring you art on demand. And stay tuned for our next virtual event coming soon.